Now at 5.30, drivers on strike. They work for the digital delivery service GoPuff, and they say that they're unhappy about low wages and poor working conditions. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed is live in Port Richmond with more. Alicia? Good evening, Jess. With over 500 locations in the U.S., GoPuff prides itself on ultra-fast delivery, while well, today drivers caused a disruption to call attention to what they consider unfair conditions. You need to your job. A now $15 billion company founded by two Drexel students eight years ago is being called out. No. Protests weren't only happening at GoPuff's headquarters on Spring Garden Street. No. Hundreds were set to strike here in Pennsylvania, as well as several states across the country, demanding better pay, flexible shifts, and termination protection from the owners of GoPuff. Even as independent contractors, uh, they, they have any reason at all without giving us one that we are deactivated from the platform as drivers. Although a company rep tells me average earnings across the country is 18 to 25 dollars per hour, drivers here claim their salary has steadily decreased over time and is now below minimum wage. We was at 7.50, then went up to. $10, then they went up to $12, then they had dropped us back down to $750, which is, is unfair. Drivers say there's also a lack of communication. Hundreds of dollars missing, no response. Can't log into the app to schedule a shift, no response for a month. One elderly driver complained about being robbed while making a delivery. She says there was no one to communicate with. I had to go all the way back to the warehouse because I had no connection to call anybody before I could make a police report. GoPuff says they are listening to concerns and have forged partnerships to offer discounts for gas and more. They're also updating portions of their app to ensure a more pleasant experience for contractors.